Hi, my name is Rebecca and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and this is my first video so I'm a little nervous. Um, I do have a blog site that you can log on to. It's www.createyourself at stampinup.net and that's right here. And you can order supplies there. You can um, order a catalog from there. And if you have any questions, I'm there for you. All my information is on there for you to reach me. Now, I really want to promote our paper pumpkin. I love it. I've been a member since the very beginning, and I just really enjoy it. Now, I cheated. I opened it up before I could show the video, and I get really excited just to see what project it's going to be. Now, in this kit, you should have a um, lot of polymer stamp set. Let's open it up. Which are these. Okay, I'll turn this the other way. And um, it comes with early espresso ink spot. And then also it comes with um, cucumber crush classic stamp and ink spot. And it should have eight white cards, eight printed envelopes, eight pattern papers, three sheets of die cut accents, one sheet of stickers, eight paper clips with um, orange bows, two sheets of adhesive strips, and one sheet of dimensionals. So let's open this up and see. And also the first time that you order a paper pumpkin, you will get a block. A little block like this. See? Okay. I am ordering a new camera just to let you know because um, this one is really um, too small. And it's showing my screen really tiny. So I'm going to open this up. Let me find some scissors or something. I can get this opened up for you. Here we go. <sighs> so, um, I'm really excited about this video. And I hope you get just as excited. If you order by the 10th, it will come in the mail. And you can order more than one if you like. Or you can cancel. But I have not yet canceled. I love it. I enjoy it. I get really excited when it comes back Christmas all over again. It's like every month. So here are the embellishments that they were talking about in the background. And here are the dimensionals and the, the sticky strips, the 3M, the envelopes right here. And you can also do something different with them if you don't want to use them as envelopes. Okay, let's see what's in here. And here we have... Ooh, I almost threw these out. These are little embellishments, but they're, they're sticky, see? You can see that. They come off, and you can stick them. So that will be fun to play with. And there's eight cards, I believe they said. So let's find out. Should be in here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, what do I have? Seven, eight. All right, here. Okay, so here are my eight cards, and then here are the different cuts. Oh, these are cute. Okay, we have these, then the simple regular cup. Here, let me get this mess out of the way here. It's getting cluttered. Another one here it is. Oh, I've seen one that was different. Hmm. 
it's this one. Okay, great. So I'm going to work with this one. Okay. Let me push that out. And um, this little note, these are like little notes, like a, you know, like a paper note clip, which I'm going to use to put on the card. So you have to be really careful pointing them off. But there we go. And then I'm going to get my card. Fold it over. There we go. Okay, let's decorate the card because I just think it's too much white. I mean, I love it. But you can always make it. Also, you can always make it as the paper pumpkin shows you how to. You can do one like this and it has directions so if you're new and you're not too sure how you want to put it together this will help you make the card and then as you explore you can do something different okay so I'm going to get um, if I can find it My, I'm looking for my blog. Okay. Oh goodness. <laughs> I really don't know what I do with it. Oh, here it is. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Anyhow, we're going to get our polymer. And I'm going to use this one little background now I try to match other colors because you know these come the two ink spots already come with it but there's also basic gray in here let me see here it is and these are the regular size stamps so there's basic gray and watermelon watermelon wonder was the closest I could find to match. So I'm going to use the early espresso. And I can use my ink spot for that one. These are really goodly inked up. I love it. Okay, so put it down right here. Kind of just ink around it. Okay. Uh, so I want to just give it just a little touch of background. You can do it as much as you want or find a different. And for it being my first video and wasn't prepared, you'd think I would have been better prepared. Um, well, I was not, I have to confess. Okay, so then I'm going to get my background. This one, put it a little diagonal, turn it a little bit, and maybe put some more. There, since it's towards the end. Okay. Here we go. There. Does that look funny? Oh well. Here we go with this. So I'm going to get my dimensionals and pop these bad boys out. Here's one. Two, three, and four. Just one in each corner. Okay. Here we go.
There. Now for this one, let me grab a sponge really quick. There we go. I have to go across to my room just to grab something. Okay. What I'm going to do is get the basic gray. Okay, I'm going to bend this card up a little bit Let's see if you can see that. And then I'm um, going to Doesn't really show up too much. Okay. Like I wanted it to. But this will have to work. we go. I'm giving it that little touch I was looking for. It's not too much and it's not really too little. It just kind of enhances it a little, which is what I was looking for. <laughs> okay. Then I put this aside and I'm going to get my teacup off of my polymer stamps that are together and I'm going to put my cup right here which is really good because you can see it pretty good and then I'm going to get my early espresso tap it let me stamp then I am going to outline my cup, my little teacup. Okay. I'm going to take this one off. Okay, then I'm going to use a dimension. Well, I'm going to stamp it first because I want to put a word saying in here. How about get well? Let's try that one. And I think I will use the cucumber crush for that. Okay. There we go. There we go. Get well. Then I'm going to use, now I can use the dimensionals for this one. I'm going to flip it over. Put one right here. And one right here. Right here. Okay. Then I think I'm going to use my steam. I think that would look so cute. With my early espresso. Let's stamp that. And then set it right above. See? Yay! Okay. 
more dimensionals. I love using dimensionals, as you will see. I love to just pop stuff up at you. I think it looks really cute. And it gives it more of a 3D effect. Okay. Oh, you know what I did forget, though? Oh, goodness. Tell you, here's video. I wanted to put something down here on the bottom, and I didn't get to do that. Let me see if I can cut this in half. <sighs> okay. Just to give it a little something. Okay. Almost done here. go and then we're going to add an embellishment to that okay. so far what I have Oop. wait a minute I think it's too the dimensional but it's not sliding in. Yep, that's what it was. Okay, here we go. And then, let me see, what else can I do here? Um, oh, actually it's done. Okay, and this is my new card. And what I'm going to do is show you the strips. They're really easy. We just pull them right off. See the strips? I'm going to use the longer ones better for this and make my envelope. So I would get it from here from here and just pull it right off. Then you can open it whatever side you're going to put it on. And just put it down like that, and then strip the cover off, strip down, and there you go. That's ready. You could do the same for the bottom. Put a strip there. I use the shorter one. Do the same. Peel it off. Whoop. You gotta take the sticky with it. And then put it on the bottom. Take it off. Shut it. And you can embellish the outside of this. And you can stick your card in here. And there you go, your first card, or my first card that I made on video. <laughs> Thank you, and I hope you look onto my blog. And if you need any help with anything, let me know. My name is Rebecca. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and you can go on my blog at www.createyourself.net. Thank you so much.